All right, Jordan, so this week of preparation for the Sweet 16, how would you describe it? Uh, you know, just getting ready for, you know, Purdue, you know, getting used to what they, their style of play, their offense, and, uh, you know, just getting ready, getting our bodies right, and be ready for tomorrow. What kind of challenge does Edwards look like to you? Uh, you know, he's going to be a big task, you know. It's not just going to be Lamonte on him. It's going to be me, Bone, you know, Grant, AD, anybody can be, be on him. So he, he's a good player. You know, he can shoot the ball well. They just, they're a good team overall, though. You know, when you have a dominant player like that, a lot of times people wonder, are you going to try to shut down the one guy that, that's uh, so good? Or I mean, they, got, they got a lot of, you know, a lot of pieces. You know, we can't just focus on Carson Edwards. They have, you know, big men, you know, other players that can shoot the ball. So it's going to be an overall team effort. I was going to ask you, in addition to Carson, what about the matchups tomorrow? Um, you no, know, everybody's going to get a chance at them. Everybody's going to get a chance at them. Um, you know, we just got to be ready overall and ready about anybody else except him. I mean, except him. Sure. What do you think you guys take from last weekend to, to help you tomorrow? Um, you got to play a full 40 minutes. You can't just, you know, just play, you know, 38 minutes. You got to play full 40. You know, everybody's going to give us the best, you know, no matter what the situation is. And, you know, just got to be prepared and ready and focus and execute. Jordan, can you rely on, you know, what you guys learned from playing this team? I know there's obviously the rosters are somewhat different. But you played them last year. Was there some, some similarities? Or? Uh, They kind of, you know, it's the same defense and offense. Uh, this year, they're trying to run through passes on the defensive end, so we got to protect the ball and can't have careless passes and uh, you know just execute what we got to execute. It's got to help though, knowing some of the personnel. Uh, yeah, they, they got some uh, you know new pieces. Some people left last year, but we know Carson and uh, some of those other shooters they have on their team. How different was preparation for a Sweet 16 versus the round of 32, which you guys had done before? I mean, it's the same. It's the same as you know the round 32. We can't you know underestimate nobody. You know, we got to focus on our game plan and what we do, and just you know get better. Is there anything you could do as far as losing those big leads? Is there anything you can work on in practice, or is that something I mean, you just begin? You can't work on that. You, you just got it's going to you know come at any given time. You know, you just got to focus and uh, you know execute. And um, you know, just you know, stick to your game plan. Just not, not try to get outside of it. Or how do you frustrate a guy like Carson Edwards who's never met a shot that he doesn't like? Uh, you know, you just got to kind of limit his touches. You know, kind of you know, put pressure on him uh, and just give him something that he's not used to. And uh, you know, I feel like Lamonte, me, and Bone can do a good job at that. As a competitor, how much are you guys looking forward to going up against a guy who everyone says is the best scorer left in the yeah, tournament? Yeah, I mean, we're looking forward to it. You know, we're always up for a challenge. You know, we compete every day against each other in practice. And you know, and going against someone else, you know, is you know fun. And uh, I can't wait for it. You get this far in the tourney. How hard is it not to want to look ahead to what lies ahead? Yeah, you know, coaches you know do a good job of that. You know, he he tells us you know focus on now. You know, not worry about the future. Uh, and just focus on now, and that's what's going to help us. You said you want to give him Carson something he's not used to. What do you see that he's not used to? I mean, it's um, obviously he's been no, defended. But I feel like, you know, you know, Lamonte's pressure, you know, his pressure is something, you know, you it's hard, you know, to play against because I went against it all the time, you know, in preseason. And just his, you know, his effort on the ball, you know, he's just, he's a tough, you know, competitor. He's, he can compete his, uh, his butt off. And, you know, I just can't wait to see that matchup. And we, we all going to get a crack at him, though. Mm-hmm. Is he a guy you have to pick up a lot sooner than other guys? Yeah, you got you know you got to pick him up. You know, close to half court. You know, you can't back up because you know he can shoot the ball from anywhere. So you just got to be ready for that and uh, you know just put pressure on him. Do you ever think he'd be talking about Lamonte as a defensive stopper back in the day? I mean, no. You know, Lamonte. He's you know, these past you know couple months. You know, he's been you know one of our best you know defensive players on the team. And you know, he, he, I guess it's just his mindset. You know, he's one. He want he wants to win. You know, he's because he, he's a competitor. And you know, he just. He he knows what it takes you know, to get stopped. Did that transformation happen over the last couple months, or had he been focused on defense before that? I mean, I don't know. I, I really just came out of nowhere, to be honest. But, uh, you know, I'm happy. You know, he's you know he's focused on that, and uh, he really helps our team out. How hard is it to be to, to focus on defense? I mean, it's not. You know, that's one thing you got to focus on, you know, to win games. Defense wins games. And, uh, you know, it's just the little things, you know, boxing out, you know, uh, finishing possessions on the defensive end. And uh, that's what we all got to do. Obviously, you guys are in the Sweet 16 now, but you guys have only been to one in Elite Eight. I mean, is that really is that dawned on you guys? Do you guys, you know, get the gravity of this situation? I mean, we're just focused on right now. You know, we're not focused on Elite Eight. Uh, you know, we're just worried about you know what we got to do to win and it to take it to take care from there. How much can you guys take away from playing Purdue just a year ago in an overtime game? Um, you know, they still got the you know the same you know kind of players, but they lost some people and. Um, you know, just got to focus on, you know, Carson. You know, he's a big-time player and other 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 teammates as well. But uh, we just got to focus on what we got to do to win. What do you guys see from them, you know, beating Villanova pretty, uh, pretty soundly? Um? 
they were hitting shots. You know, they were you know knocking down shots. Carson was knocking down you know big shots. He had 42 points that game. So we just got to limit his touches some and uh, you know put pressure on him and you know focus on some of the other players as well. Obviously, you said they missed some people um, from a year ago. They 